Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this simulation tutorial, we will learn about the not get circuit designing or using within the Tinkercad. So first, let me tell you that Tinkercad is offering a basic quad package or you can say it is not quad it is the hex package that is it has around six not gates in the single ic and now we will write its brand number like it is 74 hc 04 they also mentioned it as hex inverter hex means six and inverter means not gates Okay, now we have hex inverter. Okay, now we will design power circuit for our hex inverter IC. So we need to take this 9 volt find battery cell and okay, now you can see that we have our battery here. Now as we cannot operate this IC on this 9 volt directly so we have to lower it down LM7805 okay now input is this and ground must be connected with the negative terminal of the battery now we need to connect output of the bay of the voltage regulator with the power pin of the hex inverter IC also the ground must be connected with the ground of the voltage regulator because all the grounds must be common as you can see that the ground of the battery the ground of the voltage regulator and the ground of the hex inverter IC all are connected with each other and this is very essential for every circuit to work okay now we will use LEDs okay now we will take six LEDs or we will just take like three LEDs no need to take six because they will take some more space so we have three LEDs also we will take resistors current limiting resistors with each of the resist with each of the led because these resistors will will tolerate some sort of voltages like they will drop the voltage as well as they will limit the current so they are usually called as the current limiting resistor Okay, now it is 100. Okay. Now one thing you need to combine all the cathodes like uh, terminal 2 or cathodes of the what's called is the LEDs and just connect them with each other. Okay. Okay, now connect them with the ground of the IC. Okay, now connect them with the anode. With input 1. Oh, sorry. This is input 1, so we will connect it with the output 1. So, we also need to do it uh, with the second LED and output 2. And for third LED, we also need to connect it with the output 3.
okay now uh, our output side is completed now we will take dip switches three dip switches for the three inputs we can arrange all these in a line okay so sorry it says like this okay it is 1b it is connected with the output okay don't do it like uh, do connect them with this okay and this with the, this okay now all the top terminals of the dip switches are connected with each other now the lower terminals must be connected with the input 1 and this with the input 2 and this with the input sorry it is output 2 so it is input the input 3 okay we, we have connected it wrong like uh, this input 3 Sorry, the, this wire must be connected with the output 3 rather than input. LEDs must be connected with the outputs. So it is it, it with the input 3. Okay. okay now we have connected all the circuit okay now we will simulate it and you will see that when as the basic functioning of inverter or not get is just to toggle the input states like if there is one on input the output must be zero and if there is zero on input the output must be one so we will see it Okay, we have to wait because it is showing some problem like power or something like that. Okay, we, we have to see it. wait again we will run it okay now you can see that one of our LED is one of our LED is off so when because we cannot connect three LEDs with this I see so we have to remove it out one yes because because we cannot use the three big LEDs it is going to blast yeah so uh, we will just see the output on first uh, gate and the third one so when we will give it like uh, we will start simulation and we will give it like zero now oh, wait okay you are not going to work at all okay now when we used to give zero at the first switch we can see that our LED becomes off okay then okay wait this is our input okay and this one is connected over with our output so so we we are going to delete it out okay with one b also this one and we, we, we can directly combine this with this
okay now it is input 1a and output 1a so it's okay input 2 and output 2 so input 3 and output 3 yes it's okay it's input 3 so we can we say yes it is okay and uh, okay now again we will check it we will start our simulation both are one okay now when we will make it zero it is on and off and then this one okay now they are working fine yeah now they are inverting our LEDs yeah you can see that when we are going to give one one it is zero zero and when we are going to give it like zero zero it is showing us one one so hopefully you got the concept regarding the not get used inside the tinkercad so thanks for visiting our channel